Welcome to the Living Unconventionally podcast. I'm Brittany Felix, and every Monday I'll be speaking with someone that realized a traditional life with a soul-sucking 9-to-5 job just wasn't for them. They had the courage to go against what society told them they should want, and now they chase their passions all over the world. We'll discuss their unconventional journey and their exciting and sometimes terrifying travels. Every Wednesday we'll continue that conversation by talking about just how they can afford to travel so often and live a life of freedom most people only ever dream of. Every Friday, I'll answer your questions and offer advice and encouragement to help you start living unconventionally. If you allow yourself to be inspired by my amazing guests, one day I may just be featuring you in your world travels. Welcome to episode 120. For this week's solo episode, I figured it was time that I kind of touch base with you on where we're at in our life and on our freedom journey and what our plans are for 2017, seeing as how this is the, you know, first solo episode of the year. So just to start off, I am still chugging right along with my podcast production company. I actually am pretty much completely booked up. I don't really have the space or time to take on any new clients which is interesting. It happened a lot sooner than I thought it would, considering I put this business on hiatus while we were on the road because it just got too difficult to keep up with and I wanted to really enjoy the time that we had. So I didn't even really get back into it until we settled down in Colorado Springs, which was September, I think, of 2016. So within the past three or four months, I have really pretty much built up this business to capacity. The thing I will say in full transparency is it's still not enough money, realistically. So I'm kind of at a weird crossroads point where I am going to have to increase my rates. And this is something that every entrepreneur experiences at some point. Most entrepreneurs, especially in the service-based industry, so people who are providing services or, you know, coaching, anything like that, where it's not a product that they're selling. They only have so much time available to them. I mean, there are only so many hours in the day. And podcast production is something that I'm very good at. And it's okay as far as, you know, the enjoyment of it goes. But it's certainly not what I want to be doing. It's not the business that I want to build. So rather than trying to fit more clients in or bring on more people to build up my team and really build this business... I want to scale back. I want to focus more on living unconventionally. I want to provide more resources and more help so that people are not stuck in the same situation I was for years. Literally for years, I knew I wanted to live a location-independent life, but I was so overwhelmed by the whole process of figuring out how to do it that I just continued going day by day, ignoring how I really felt. And this went on for far, far too long. And I want to stop that cycle from happening for other people. So that's what my passion is. That's what I really want to build towards. So right now, I mean, pretty much in order to scale back in my business, but still be able to pay my bills, I have to increase my rates. And this is a scary position to be in because everyone who comes to me for a quote for services, you know, that's another way to pay my bills. That's more money to put in my savings. That's another trip that we could take. So, you know, my instinct in order to compete with these full production companies is to charge less than they do, which means not really making enough to make it worth my time, to be honest. So it's kind of this constant battle of, well, if I quote too high, I'm not going to get anything, so I might as well get what I can. And that's something that basically every service-based entrepreneur experiences at some point. So again, as I always instruct you to do, is to push past that fear, to understand that making some money is not good enough. It's not worth my time. And trust that the work that I do is quality and that it justifies the increased rates. So that's kind of where I'm at with that business. I am working at scaling up my prices so that I can scale back the amount of clients that I have to have and focus on building up the Living Unconventionally brand which takes me into my next update. As far as the Living Unconventionally brand goes, I'm excited to announce that I will soon be offering online self-paced courses. 
So what I'm going to cover is basically what I talk about in these episodes here with my guests. I want to help people figure out how to get unstuck, get out of that cycle, break out of that daily routine, and get started on the path of living unconventionally and really get their freedom journey going. So those courses are going to break down those steps and help you figure out exactly what you need to do and what steps you need to take to get out of your own way, get out of your own head, and get started. So I am working on putting those courses together right now, building them up, coming up with PDFs and video presentations and slideshows and all kinds of things for you. So I will keep you updated on that process. There's going to be multiple courses, but I'm going to launch with just kind of one simple basic course, and then we're going to build from there. So the next update that I have is that I've had quite a few people ask how they can support me. They love what I'm doing. They love the show. They want to support me in whatever way they can. And of course, a huge, huge way of supporting me is just by spreading the word, letting people know about this podcast, inviting people into the Facebook community, you know, sharing your favorite episodes. All of that is fantastic. That helps get the word out and is so appreciated. You can also leave a rating and review on iTunes. Those help a lot as well. But for somebody who wants something a little bit more concrete, I do actually have an account now with Patreon which is a wonderful, wonderful platform where people can support people and projects that they are passionate about. So basically how my account is set up is that you can essentially pledge a certain amount of money to me every month to go into the production of the podcast. And in return, you get certain rewards and special notifications just for the supporters or what they call patrons. So basically you get exclusive content that people who are not patrons do not have access to. And that support can come in the form of as little as $1 a month or really, I mean, however much you want. I think there's an option up to 100 but I certainly do not expect anybody to do that. Basically, this money just goes to help cover the cost of putting out this podcast. I absolutely do not expect it to fund my lifestyle by any means, but it does cost money to have this podcast and the systems in place to help make sure it runs smoothly. And so the Patreon donations really just help cover those costs so that it's a little bit less of a burden and I can spend more of my efforts and energy and time and money on helping grow the brand, getting the word out, and getting you guys more resources. So if you are interested in supporting me on Patreon, there will be a link in the show notes for this episode. You can find those at livingunconventionally.com forward slash episode 120. Of course, as usual, those are the numbers 120. And so the last update is just kind of checking in with you on our travel plans. When you follow this podcast, if you've been here since the beginning, there were these big hopes and dreams of traveling full time in our RV for at least a year. And that obviously is not happening. We have settled down here in Colorado Springs. We've been here for a few months. We have visited some of the areas around us, and we absolutely plan to do that in 2017. It is my personal mission, not a goal, it's a mission, to accomplish a trip out of the country in 2017. I have no clue how this is going to happen yet. I'm putting this out into the universe. I'm declaring that it will happen, and I am going to be pursuing it, doing the work that I can to make this a sponsored trip somewhere. So I am practicing manifestation and putting things out into the universe and letting her kind of figure out how it's going to happen and and trusting that it will. So I have put that out there. I will travel internationally in 2017. I am completely open to the location and the method that it happens, but I'm going to do the work that I can to make sure it's a sponsored stay. And of course, as that happens, I will document that and let you guys know how it's accomplished and what's going on with it. So in the meantime, we're going to travel locally and continue to have our own adventures right here in our own backyard. It's one of the main reasons we moved to Colorado, because there is so much to see and explore within such a short distance. And as far as our full-time travel plans go, I'm actually going to devote next Friday's podcast episode to that because I think it's something that probably a lot of you have experienced, which is what do you do when one person in the relationship wants one thing and the other person wants something different? How can you travel full-time when your spouse is not on board? So that's what we're going to cover next week. 
And I'm going to talk about how my husband and I have addressed this and just how that's going to translate into the rest of our lives. So make sure that you come back next Friday for that. But obviously, we're going to have a few more episodes in between then with another unconventionalist. So you want to check those out as well. If you're not part of the Living Unconventionally Facebook community, you absolutely want to join. As I mentioned in Wednesday's and Monday's episode, Kathy O'Dowd, this week's incredibly accomplished and inspiring guest, is in that community, as well as nearly 450 other members. So you can connect with like-minded people who are going to understand you. You don't have to convince them why this lifestyle is so amazing and why you're desperate for it. And if you're already living it, just why you love it so much. So all you have to do to join that community if you're not a part of it already is click the link that'll be in the show notes or just simply go to livinguncoventionally.com forward slash Facebook. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that you go out and make this first full weekend of 2017 one full of adventure and joy and happiness and events that will help inspire you to live 2017 to the fullest. 